Secret arrests, secret renditions, torture, and assassinations are illegal under both domestic and international law. These activities should be anathema to the citizens of a constitutional republic. The real threat doesn't arise from our failure to torture, rather desensitizing our nation to the willful neglect and sacrifice of our civil liberties fought and died for over the centuries is the threat. The concept of Hades Corpus existed even before King John of England was forced in 1215 by his rebellious barons to sign the Magna Carta. This basic principle and expression of individual liberty which has survived 800 years greatly influenced the writing of our constitution and our common law heritage. Today, we hardly hear a whimper either from the American people or a stone silent U.S. government as our cherished liberties are eradicated. Instead, we have a government that deliberately orchestrates needless fear and makes people insecure enough to ignore the reality of their lost liberties. The latest outrage is the current administration's acknowledgement that we now have a policy that permits assassination not only of foreign suspects, but of American citizens as well. Of course, the CIA has used secret assassinations in a limited fashion for decades, despite international, domestic, and moral law. When done secretly, as in the past, our government at least recognized that assassination was illegal and wrong. Frighteningly and astonishingly, however, the policy is now explicit. National Intelligence Director Dennis Blair, in open testimony before the House Intelligence Committee on February 3rd of this year, acknowledged that American citizens can indeed be assassinated at our government's discretion. Acknowledged that American citizens can indeed be assassinated at our government's discretion. Acknowledged that American citizens can indeed be assassinated at our government's discretion. Acknowledged that American citizens can indeed be assassinated at our government's discretion. Acknowledged that American citizens can indeed be assassinated at our government's discretion. 